Is this like a severe hazing ritual? If you can meet me at my leafist, you get the leafussy. You know what I'm saying? This guy has six million subs. These jokes are fucking horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to Daniel Howell giving advice on dating and Tinder. Okay, so let's jump right in. First up, we've got Bry who said, I was made for this one, and it is a picture of a coffin with some flowers saying, Dad, about me, you don't have to worry about meeting my dad. <laughs> I mean, fuck yeah, filter them out. That is a good way to do it. And people are gonna be in there. Mirian wants us to judge her. I love that you have a friend and you said, no, the friend is ugly, gonna put a big heart oh. emoji over her face. And then, holy shit, you have got a photo of you being kissed from behind by Shrek. Why is the hand on the neck? There's like every fucking different color of hair. I mean, I don't know if I saw that, I would be like, swipe! A picture of me, what the hell? I matched with John in 2019. I told him he looked familiar and then he deleted his whole profile. Hey John, you straight, single, monogamous, six foot one man with an average build. How fucking dare you? I'm six foot three, looking for single women between 18 and 40 for hookup and new friends. That is so incorrect. I am never looking for friends. Amelia, hot damn. Okay, I'm sorry. What is going on in this second photo? Jesus Christ. That is the most sexual hair I've ever seen in my life. Does anyone even say yes to you or are they just too scared? You might need to turn it down a bit. Although I love you just hanging out with a bunch of pricks in the first photo. Same. Oh, we got Puck here who is into fashion, <laughs> museums, art and pop. The fuck is that a loaf of bread? Politics. All right, Jesus Christ, who are you trying to show off for? Oh, and then you are listening to Arctic Monkeys and David Bell. I did a video, <laughs> this guy. I did a video last week where me and Liz went over how to optimize your Tinder profile pictures. Okay, I'll link it in the end screen. But there is a systematic process, okay, including which backgrounds to pick, which outfits to pick, which poses to make. And it should be pro pictures, not these fucking little bathroom selfie weird things. You're too fucking cool, go away. You're gonna die alone unless you start looking relatable. Just kidding, I'm jealous. We've got one here from Twitter user Cafe Crackhead, who has made a Tinder profile role-playing as a leaf, age 19, miserable and on the ground. Same. Are you actually looking to smash with this? I mean, <laughs> what happens? Do you, do you have to, is this like a severe hazing ritual? If you can meet me at my leafist, you get the leaf fussy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cooper is a clinically hyperactive Jewess in distress, up front with their red flags, and wait a minute, you can serve that and that? You can give the people that or that on any day of the week? You are too powerful. You go for 100% completion on Tinder? M lives in Glasgow. She is mentally ill and only listens to sad music by pretty women like Phoebe and Lord. <laughs> Starred Howell, I have to be nice to this person. Okay, here we go. When I was being slutty in my first year of uni, this was my profile. Also, I quickly discovered I needed a physics tutor, so I clickbaited men into matching with me, LMFAO. If you know college physics, please super like me and I will match you. <laughs> Get it, girl. Hell yeah. You know, I was questioning the dateability of you guys, but this guy has six million subs. These jokes are fucking horrible. It's horrible. It's going quite well. Steph O. Sims is coming in. Uh, my dump truck's so fat, I haven't been able to fit through a door frame since 2017. Good for you. I went for Halloween dressed as Ariola Grande, and it's just a giant tit with bunny ears. <laughs> Ariola Grande. Who would not match with you? What else do you need? Okay, Ayuna went to Vegas, good for you. And I can see in your fifth photo, you chose to include one of you taking a selfie with a mascot outside of Hershey's Chocolate World. Priorities. So unfortunately, Americans, Hershey's does taste like piss and your dead grandma's ashes, so. Um. Mac does it tweeted me. Oh my God, I watch your videos when I'm just like in the bath wanting to hear some opinions about fashion and you were banned from Tinder. <laughs> What? What happened here? This decision is final. You will no longer be able to access your Tinder account. What about all the matches you made? What if you found your super-like fantasy husband from the future and you'll never be able to contact them again? We've got Hunter coming in immediately. He's got a cello out. Cello out for the lads, absolutely. Tickle that G-string and a pussy on the shoulder. And you're about me. You should be that boyfriend who plays video games with me, smiley face. Maybe I could teach you a thing or two about music. You got a cello, you got a cat, 
and you've got a one-liner. You don't need me. Be free. Frolic into the world. We've got Simon. This is a fucking, these jokes are all horrible. <laughs> but first of all, you need to have pictures that are professional. You need to have hot girls approve them in advance and pick the best ones. And it helps to apply things like face app, which will enhance the aesthetics of your face and give you better matches. Then in your profile, it should be a list of the best things you have going for yourself, including your skills, interests, hobbies, accomplishments, and cool experiences. That way you come across as the full package. This is just like pure nonsense with a lot of these people's profiles. This, this dude looks like he's homosexual here in this picture. From Kentucky, who's posted an incredibly moody <laughs> cherry blossom photo. And your only question that you answered to describe your whole personality is, I will never shut up about Luigi. Fuck yeah, big bottom energy Luigi has. We all know it. Maddie here. All By the way, guys, we still have the scholarship promo offer. If you're a former customer of Occam's Razor Leads Machine, you can apply that towards the cost of the eight-week program. You can go apply with the link in the description. We're going to pick 10 winners for that. And if you're a former eight-week program student, we are going to offer you 2,000 off for 10 different people from a three-day live boot camp. Okay, you can apply for both those in the description. The upside down, goth on the slide, definitely has undiagnosed ADD and mummy issues, but at least she's funny sometimes. Small boobs, zero ass. But you know what you got? You got sass. And who needs ass when you've got sarcasm and that completely black outfit? That's what I tell myself. Well, I don't need to tell myself that because I've got a fucking dump truck. I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm so impressed, honestly. I'm not saying that I thought you'd all die alone. And maybe you can all just find each other. Have like a dystopia daily, you know, like one of those swinger hotel conventions. We'll call it a business event and then you can all just cheat on your partners. Silas hitting us with the bat. He's a student and an online creator and he is goated with the sauce. Hey, and no, I'm sorry, what the hell is that sandwich? Enhance! That would appear to be a piece of ciabatta and then 13 slices of cheese and a single piece of lettuce. Is that digestible? You are brave. Holy shit. I mean, that's what you did after this. You did an extremely unholy shit after you finished all of those fries and all that cheese, Jesus. Jesus Christ. And finally, here we go. I was waiting for this my whole life. We have a grinder photo. James coming in saying that they are looking for friends with benefits, toys, twinks, vanilla, gaming, and RuPaul's Track Race at the same time. Hell yeah, that's what's Drag Race UK while playing a bit of Mario Kart and I'm being absolutely railed. I'm gonna be honest, for the first time in my life, I'm not disappointed with my audience. No, I'm just kidding. Wow, yeah, you are unflinching. Is this the generation that I have molded? People that are just upfront with their self-deprecation, just being unabashedly horny, terrifying bisexuals, just let loose into society. I'm proud of you. Get it. And for those of you that were an absolute hot mess, I uh, don't know what to say. I'm not going to be that mean to you, but at least population decline is good for the climate crisis. Doing your part. And now, like a good friend or a controlling family member, I would never do anything without your permission or valuable feedback. And the first place any intelligent human goes when they're looking for that, <laughs> YouTube comments, of course. When I announced the tour for my new show, We're All Doomed, I spent way too much time and money making a trailer where the moon flooded a little. And why? That's why I'm doing the tour, just to break my neck. So if you want to see me die, soul, don't blink. It is time for some bleach. And if we are trying to take... All right, we got to end it there. Don't even show this other part after because it's stupid. Okay, well, people send me these and there wasn't much to react to there. But send me stuff from guys in the industry. I can critique in fields and, and different stuff they're doing that's wrong and give proper game advice. This is just a guy making bad jokes the entire fucking time. So get on that scholarship offer if you're a previous Occam's or Lisa Machine or Platinum Dating System member. You can go with the link in the description. And also, please check out PlatinumDatingSystem.com. Sign up for a free 30-minute call if you want to get the whole game handled. And also, let me know what you think in the comments about this dumbass. And ask your Tinder questions there as well. Please like, subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. And Jay, don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. To the
fixture, I'm a factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.